diesel, the new engine, was sulky. The freight cars would not stop singing rudely at him. Duck was horrified. Shut up, he ordered, and bumped them hard. I'm sorry our cars were rude to you, Diesel. Diesel was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me. Nonsense, said Henry. Duck would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to the cars. That would be dis... dis... Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. Diesel hated Duck. He wanted him to be sent away, so he made a plan. He was going to tell lies about Duck. Next day, he spoke to the cars. I see you like jokes. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed and laughed. Duck told me one about Gordon. I'll whisper it. Don't tell Gordon I told you. And he sniggered away. Ha, 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 guffawed the cars. Gordon will be cross with Duck when he knows. Let's tell him and get back at Duck for bumping us. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. Soon Gordon, Henry, and James found out why. Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. We cannot allow it. They consulted together. Yes, they said. He did it to us, we'll do it to him, and see how he likes it. Duck was tired out. The cars had been cheeky and troublesome. He wanted a rest in the shed. The three engines barred his way. Keep out. Stop fooling, said Duck. I'm tired. So are we, hissed the engines. We are tired of you. We like Diesel. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to the cars. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. Sir Topham Hatt came to stop the noise. Duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. Rusty red scrap iron, hissed James. I'm old square wheels, fumed Henry. Well, Duck? Duck considered. I only wish, sir, he said gravely, that I'd thought of those names myself. If the dome fits. <coughs> he made cars laugh at us, accused the engines. Sir Topham Hatt recovered. He'd been trying not to laugh himself. Did you, Duck? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would be as mean as that. Diesel lurked up. Now, Diesel, you heard what Duck said. I can't understand it, sir. To think that Duck, of all engines, I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, but know nothing. I see, said Sir Topham Hatt. Diesel squirmed and hoped he didn't. I'm sorry, Duck, but you must go to Edward's station for a while. I know he will be glad to see you. As you wish, sir. Duck trundled sadly away, while Diesel smirked with triumph. Mm -hmm.